सो नाउ लेट्स बिगिन डिस्कशन ऑन अ वेरी हाई टॉपिक दैट इज बायो स्टैटिस्टिक्स ओके विच ऑफ द फॉलोइंग इज अ नॉन पैरामेट्रिक टेस्ट बिफोर वी गो इन टू द आंसर लेट एस है ब्रीफ डिस्कशन ऑन द इम्पॉर्टेंट स्टैटिस्टिकल टेस्ट सो सी स्टैटिस्टिकल टेस्ट कैन बी अ पैरामेट्रिक टेस्ट और अ नॉन पैरामेट्रिक टेस्ट ओके रिमेंबर पैरामेट्रिक टेस्ट इज ऑलवेज डन फॉर नॉर्मली डिस्ट्रीब्यूटेड डेटा वेर एज नॉन पैरामेट्रिक टेस्ट इज डन फॉर स्क्यूड डेटा ओके डेटा विच इज नॉट नॉर्मली डिस्ट्रीब्यूटेड दिस इज फॉर नॉर्मल डिस्ट्रीब्यूशन डेटा एंड दिस इज फॉर स्क्यूड डेटा एंड ऑल्सो यू शुड नो दैट पैरामेट्रिक टेस्ट इज डन फॉर क्वांटिटेटिव डेटा वेर एज नॉन पैरामेट्रिक टेस्ट इज डन फॉर क्वालिटेटिव डेटा ओके क्वांटिटेटिव एंड क्वालिटेटिव सो वेन एवर यू आर डूइंग इन पैरामेट्रिक टेस्ट यू विल ऑलवेज कंपेयर इन टर्म्स ऑफ मीन्स एंड स्टैंडर्ड डिविएशन वेन एवर यू आर डूइंग इन नॉन पैरामेट्रिक टेस्ट यू विल कंपेयर इन टर्म्स ऑफ परसेंटेज फ्रैक्शन और प्रोपोर्शन ओके सो मीन्स एंड स्टैंडर्ड डिविएशन पैरामेट्रिक टेस्ट एंड परसेंटेज एंड फ्रैक्शन इन केस ऑफ नॉन पैरामेट्रिक टेस्ट ओके नाउ वट आर द टाइप्स ऑफ पैरामेट्रिक टेस्ट यू आर हैविंग वन विल बी द पेयर्ड स्टूडेंट टी टेस्ट वन विल बी द अनपेयर्ड स्टूडेंट टी टेस्ट वन विल बी द एनोवा सो वट इज पेयर्ड स्टूडेंट टी टेस्ट ओके फॉर पेयर्ड स्टूडेंट टी टेस्ट वट आर द क्राइटेरिया देयर विल बी वन ग्रुप ओके एंड देयर विल बी पेयर्ड डेटा there will be one group and there will be paired data what is the meaning of the word paired data paired data means before intervention after intervention suppose you have a group of 100 individuals okay and you have recorded their blood pressure now you give them an anti hypertensive drug and then you again record their blood pressure after 40 to 72 hours okay so that is called paired data before giving the drug after giving the drug okay and one group 100 individuals so that will be paired student t test okay what is unpaired student t test for unpaired student t test there will be two groups and there it will be unpaired data so what is the meaning of the word unpaired data unpaired data means there is no intervention done okay so there is no chance of before intervention or after intervention okay what about anova what is the full form of anova anova is also called analysis of variance okay so it is for three or more groups and it will also be unpaired data so i hope it's clear okay paired student t test unpaired student t test and anova okay so just let's uh, revise so paired student t test to compare means and standard deviation in one group in paired data unpaired t test to compare means and standard deviation in two groups in unpaired data and the analysis of variance to compare the means and standard deviation in more than uh, three or three groups in unpaired data coming to the types of non parametric test for non parametric test what are the two most important test you should know you should be knowing sign test and you should be knowing the very popular chi square test okay some other test i have also mentioned okay man witness test wilcoxon test valis test okay spearman's test friedman's test okay so these are also examples of what non parametric test what about sign test sign test okay sign test remember it is again paired data one group but you are not comparing mean and standard deviation you will be comparing in terms of percentage fraction or proportion why because we are using for skewed data and for qualitative data okay we will be comparing in terms of percentage fractions and proportions so basically you can understand that sign test is analogous to the paired student t test okay in both the cases we are having paired data and one group but the difference is that for paired student t test we are comparing in terms of means and standard deviation for sign test we are comparing in terms of percentage and fraction clear what about chi square test okay chi square test will be analogous to the unpaired student t test okay for chi square test again unpaired data two groups or more than two groups but in terms of comparison in terms of percentage fraction proportion okay let us discuss example so that you understand 140 mm mercury was the mean systolic blood pressure recorded in a group of 20 individuals 
then they were given an antihypertensive see antihypertensive given okay so what is an antihypertensive intervention whenever intervention is being done the data becomes what paired or unpaired so it will become paired data how many groups are there one group recorded in a group of 20 individuals so there is one group so then they were given an antihypertensive for 2 months after which the mean systolic blood pressure was reduced to 125 mm mercury which statistical test of significance are we using here so you tell me the answer what will be the answer one group paired data and you tell me what is this data is this quantitative or is this qualitative so it is quantitative data right so one group paired data so answer will be paired e test or paired students e test okay let's move on among 100 patients in a hospital see percentage so whenever you are talking about percentage that is comparison in terms of percentage in terms of fraction in terms of proportion will you use a parametric test or will you use a non parametric test i will definitely use a non parametric test so percentage i will be using a non parametric test okay and anti hypertensive drug again was given so this will be an example of what intervention so whenever there is intervention what sort of data it will be what paired data okay was given for 2 months after which only 25% among 100 remained hypertensive how many groups are there 100 patients so this is one group so see one group paired data non parametric test which is the statistical test to be used all of you please tell me i repeat one group paired data non parametric test so answer will be sign test answer will be sign test okay A study was done to assess nutritional status among young children in rural and urban area. Okay, thirty children in rural area and twenty children in urban area were found malnourished. Which of the following test of significance is the most appropriate in this case? So here, how many groups do you have? You have one group or two groups? You are having two groups. Why? Because there is a young children in rural area and there is young children in urban area. Okay suppose i am saying the number of young children you are considering in the rural area is x and the number of young children you are considering in the urban area is y okay so out of x 30 children in the rural area and out of y 20 children that is in the urban area were found malnourished so can i say this is an example of fraction or proportion or percentage yes so this can be in terms of fraction proportion or percentage so whenever it is in terms of fraction proportion or percentage which test i will use will i use parametric test or will i use non parametric test so definitely i will be using non parametric test npt not pt okay non parametric test how many groups are there two groups so non parametric test two groups what will be the answer chi square test so you understand how i am solving it first of all you understand how many groups are there number 2 you understand whether any intervention is done and number 3 you understand the comparison is done in terms of what mean or standard deviation it will go to parametric test comparison done in terms of fraction proportion percentage it will go towards non parametric test right now remember that z test z test is a variant of student t test it will be used if the sample size is more than 30 okay look at this here in this particular what was the sample size 20 individuals so here the sample size was less than 30 that is why we used paired t test not z test okay so suppose the sample size is given 
more than 30 and in the option you are having Z test, you go for Z test. Now, if you ask me what if the sample size is not mentioned, if the sample size is not mentioned and it is given that you are doing comparison in terms of means and standard deviation, it's a paired data. Okay. And it's a single group. Then what do I use? I use paired student t-test or I use z-test. Then remember that the rule is if you are not mentioned the sample size, always go for paired student t-test because it is much better compared to z-test. Another exception is Fisher's exact test. Okay. That's a non-parametric test. It's a variant of chi-square test, which is to be used if the sample size is less than 30. So look here, here the sample size is not less than 30. Okay, because it is X children I have taken in the rural area and Y children in the urban area, 30 out of X and 20 out of Y I am taking. Okay, so it is expected the sample size here is more than 30. So it is chi-square test and also you don't have this uh, Fisher's exact test in the option. So we have taken chi-square test. But remember that if it's a non-parametric test, you are doing in comparison in terms of percentage, a fraction or proportion and the sample size is less than 30 then you have to go for Fisher's exact test okay provided there is two groups and no intervention is being done.